to my channel and I apologize for this weird glare right here. My window is open and of course the sun was just like, hey, I'm going to peek as soon as you're going to turn on the video. <laughs> so um, I'm here today to do our weekly check-in with you guys. So let me write in my categories real quick. The first thing that we like to track is groceries to make sure that we're not overspending on um, grocery shopping. Next thing is household, same thing. Pets, pets was a tricky one for a while. I think we're starting to get the hang of it a little bit, but I'm, I don't know. So we're still trying to track it and still adjusting the budget as we go along. Next up is eating out. That one was a struggle for a while and now we've done really good with it. And then the last one is car slash gas for the car. So that's like oil changes and car washes and obviously gas. So now let's start with groceries. I already did um, all of the math. So... <laughs> So that this would go a little bit quicker so I can get you guys on your way. So for groceries, I went to Aldi and just picked up like a couple things and that was $8.15. Then we come over here and I went to Wegmans and Ethan was craving Ben and Jerry's and I ran out of fish. So I got some more. That was $9.68. Then I went to Aldi for our actual grocery shopping, which we really didn't need much at all, clearly, because I only spent $37.58. And I think that was it for the week. So total, we spent $55.41. So Remaining, we have $113.38, and so that's for this last week, and I know that we're definitely not going to touch that. Um, I, I don't even think that we really need to go grocery shopping for anything. I know we're out of oat milk, and I think we're low on bread. I'm sure there's a couple other things that I'm going to pick up, but you know, I don't know yet. Next up is household and all we spent was $13.66 for household. Um, and that was for meal prep containers and a lint roller. So remaining we have $11.22. And if you're new to this channel, um, how I calculate all of this since I'm not doing it this time is um, in my monthly view, I'll keep track of all of our expenses. I'll add them up for each category. And then that will be what we spent for that week. To get the remaining, I take what we had remaining last week. I subtract out what we spent this week. And that'll give us our remaining for what we have to spend next week. Um, just to give you a little, in, in case you're new to budgeting. Next up is pets. And I went Christmas shopping for the pets. I got Leela some uh, little treats. And what else did I get her? Some little treats. I think I got her some dental chews. I got the cats like a catnip toy, a scratch post with catnip. And then I think I got them. Oh, Levi really likes like the tuna paste that the vet gives him. And Temptations just came out with a tuna paste for home. So I got that. And then I think I got them also some dental treats too. So that came out to $23.92. And so remaining we have $2.00 and two cents, which this is the only uh, category so far that's scaring me because we're getting really low on cat litter. So, I mean, that's what Ethan told me last night. So I need to go check to see what we have left for cat litter because we still have uh, like one more week to like dump out all of the cat litter and like refill it back up. Like we'll clean it out every day, but at the end of the week, we usually dump both of them and refill them with with, with fresh fresh um, litter. 
<clears throat> so yeah, I thought that that was going to be enough. Of course, that probably would have been enough if I didn't buy their Christmas presents or if I put their Christmas presents in with the Christmas sinking fund. But I also don't want to really go too over budget in the Christmas sinking fund because I know that we didn't have a lot in there. So next up is eating out. And actually, I already know that we did not eat out at all. So we still have $20 remaining, which is really good because we went to Copper Top on the 4th and that was $40. Well, we pitched in $40. And um, so we only had $20 remaining. We're used to budgeting like 100 to 125 for eating out. And I knocked us way down to 60. So the fact that we still have $20 and we still have a whole week to go and we literally spent the majority of our budget within the first four days is amazing. So I'm very happy with how we're doing. And then gas for the car, I just got that last night, so I know that that was $35.36. So minus the $59.76, we have $24.40 left. And I guess this um, category is the only other concerning one to me because we will be doing a lot of running around for Christmas time, obviously. So today, if I get a chance, I, well, I need to go to Walmart to pick up a couple of things. And then I also need to, um, let's see, what else? Oh, do Instacart if I am, which usually in the town that I am in, people do it, but not as often as people from the next town over do it. So it's usually eight miles for me to drive there. Um, so if I do Instacart, that still takes up a little bit of gas too. And then, uh, and Walmart is like on the other side of our town as well. <laughs> so that usually takes up a little bit of gas, obviously. And then on Christmas Eve, we will be going 30 minutes away. Then we'll be going back home real quick. And then we'll be going 45 minutes away in the opposite direction, coming back home. Then it's Christmas Day. We're going 45 minutes back in the other direction and then coming home. And then on Monday, we'll be going 45 minutes this way. So it's like we're all over the place. So I'm definitely going to have to get gas. And I I have not my, – my gas has not been – uh like 25 and under in a while it's it's been like 30 35 which is completely fine I, I I don't care but I'm just saying that it might not be enough and I might have to start budgeting more for gas which is kind of scary because we only have one car but that might be why too because obviously with one car you're gonna have to fill it up more than if you had two cars and you were you know whatever so I might have to start bumping that up to like 140, 150, probably 140. Yeah. So anyways, that is our weekly check-in, guys. I will pop you over here real quick. Yep, today's Thursday, and I probably will be spending money today, so I'm not going to worry about a no-spend day. But guys, we have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 no spend days for December so far. Like that is amazing. I cannot believe it. Um, let me check off the gas here. And then at the end of the month, if you come back, you will be able to see how many no spend days we actually have um, this month. And we will also be checking off stuff like Ethan's Christmas, Simple Roast, Simple Roast, Christmas cards, stamps, and over here, like, these are our allowances that we've spent and stuff. So, like, yeah, we're gonna, we'll see how we do for December. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very curious how it's all going to uh, pan out. And then the only last thing that I usually do at the end of the weekly check-ins is show you what we have gotten, which I don't know where I left off, of course, but, but I think it's here with posters for Tyler. And that was $10.80, but um, we returned one and we bought him a different one. 
So it ended up only being 540. And then in here, where it says Xmas everyone, I, I went to Walmart and I bought a bunch of other things too. So the, we returned that and exchanged it. We went on a movie date to see the new Spider-Man. And if you have not gone and seen that, you need to like run to the movie theater right now. That was the greatest movie ever. I loved it. And I am a diehard um, Infinity War fan. Like I love Marvel. Marvel is definitely like my favorite movies. And uh yeah, and or um Infinity War is definitely like my go-to movie. I watch it all the time. I watch it as background noise. I watch it when I get bored. Um if I sit there and I reference it like all day and, and if Ethan starts up too, then I'm like, alright, I'm that I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna watch Infinity War tonight. But Spider-Man, oh my goodness, like no way home. This it is a very close second for me. That's how good it is. So if you have not seen that, you need to go now. Then I went to, I think, the Dollar Tree to get some Christmas bags and some, like, tissue paper and stuff. That was $8.64. Then I went to Walmart again, and I got um, my little cousin Logan a book. And um, I got some t-shirts that I had to make. And that was $42.06. And then gifts for everyone. Like I said, that was like stocking stuffers and just like last minute gifts and stuff like that. That we spent and that was $86.68. But other than that, guys, that is all that I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy um, your holidays and your new year and your family and all of the love and food and everything else. And I... Um, We'll let you guys go now, and I will see you guys on Monday, I think, for our January setup, and then next week I will also be doing our 2022 setup, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss those videos next week. But I'll let you guys go, and I hope you have a great holiday. Bye, guys.